this with the WLE and some of these other uh, participants, but really for this research, research and tools, but really to set up for and uh, I think it will be better. And, I, and this is actually, though I'm from Manipur, this is actually my first visit to Mizoram. No, I've been to Mizoram airport once uh, without a stop, I mean, getting off the airport, but, and uh, it's quite nice to be here. So, and I hope to explore some bit of Izo to if possible during my stay. So, thank you. Thank you, Professor. Uh, now, I invite our guest of honor, Professor Walker Tiwari, to the School of Physical Sciences to have a talk. Good morning. Good morning to Honorable Vice Chancellor, the Chief Guest of Sanction, Professor Walker Hudson, Head of the Department, Professor Jaber Kassi, and the resource person who is behind this program. Glaisra and uh, the Department of the Mathematics, School of Physical Sciences, all the faculties, head of the department, deans, participants, research scholars. Good morning to all. It's a great privilege, I will say, for the Department of Mathematics and the School of Physical Sciences to organize um, such induction program or I will say that the training program for the faculties as well as for the research scholars it will be at the advanced level for the mathematics awareness and the mathematics and all. It's a, we are really delighted in the School of Physical Sciences to have this program. And uh, before I say a few words, I would like to thank the Department of Mathematics. They are organizing continuously such kind of the program. Even during the pandemic time, we have seen that whether it's national or international, they are organizing continuously and enriching in this state. And this state, particularly, I would like to mention that they are having the kind of the fear, fear about the mathematics. So, for this, the department is taking all the initiative right from the school level, the workshop or the training or the kind of the awareness and which is very much required in this particular state because they have the, you know, all the, even at the school level or when the students, they are coming for the higher studies, they feel kind of the fear. Fear, I don't know why they are having the fear, although they understand, their understanding is there, but fear is there. These two things are there simultaneously, I don't understand. So they have to see that why such fear is there. So. There are many misperceptions are there, as I used to discuss with the senior professors also. They are having, based on their living, way of living, or many other things they used to discuss. This kind of the misconception or misperceptions are there. So that has to be worked. So I'll just go a little bit behind the, you know, in the past, and I'll just a little bit discuss that how the Indian educational system is going on. So, as we know that our Indian educational system is, it was lying within the three words, that is the access, equitable, and the quality education. Is that right? But when you look at that, the, the past, the 11th century, and all, there were the, it was mentioned that India was known, or this culture, or this, the, this the civilization was known for Gyan and Tedya. That means that the knowledge and the wisdom, like the rope for their the beautiness, for example, the turkey for their power and all that. But India was known for their gyan and prakya, that means that the knowledge and the wisdom. But later what happened? Now, you know, when we look at that, these things are not much known. Why this has been, you know, because the one of the reasons which I find that the, there was not much exchange of the knowledge. Not much exchange of what we are having. Although what I used to mention, the Mizoram also, they know it. Their understanding is there, but kind of the fear is there. The reason was that not, not, not much exchange, not much, you know, the dissemination, dissemination of the knowledge, which was missing there. So that I feel that this is the reason that they are having kind of the fear. 
although they know, but kind of the fear is there that has to be removed. And when this dissemination is started at the global level, then we realize that we know that we are able to do that. When at the top positions, when we look at that, over the Indians, they are doing far better than the others. This is the and the second thing that I give an example. When I was studying, when I was doing my PhD and all that, they used to talk about that if you have to, you know, gain the knowledge, better you go the BHU. And when you go, when you want that the the job, then you go to the Allahabad. These two universities were very, you know, competitive universities, and they used to talk about that. That you want to get the gain the knowledge, you go to the BHU. And still, I know that the people they the people are there. They are there only for gaining the knowledge. They never apply for any job. But scenario has changed. The global perspective has changed with the time. And now we are also moving towards that the employable education. And that is the reason that if you try to see that the, the global perspective, our industries are nowhere in terms of the rankings. We see that in terms of the Employability, we are nowhere. Not even within the 300 in the you know the top universities. What was the reason? The the educational, the entire educational system is slowly moving towards the employable education. We are not you know not moving that to just to gain the knowledge. But moving towards the employable education. And if you try to see that, I'll come back how this NEP is emerging as an alternative for that, the new education or the national education policy. So when we see that the other universities, for example, the Oxford is there, for example, the, the Cambridge and all that, they are at the top. There are the reasons behind it. The vocational, the employable, and the digitalization. So these are the certain things which we are, you know. Not only that, at the educational, in the you know, school education, we used to start from the class at the age of the six. But if you try to see that the global perspective, they start from the class third, and there was an importance related to the the numeral system, numeral concept. The numeral concept that is the number system. The number system is the you know. Now it is the integral part of the education and that has been introduced. If you look at that, the NEP, it is right from the, at the age of the three. So this is, has been, you know, it has been introduced. And if you, if you try to see that, as I started with that, the three terms, that is the access, equity, and the, you know, the quality education. But in addition to that, with the NEP, the two, three things they have introduced the one was that the lifelong learning. The second thing was that the flexibility in learning. Flexibility in terms of the, I will say that in the two ways, the vertical flexibility and the horizontal flexibility that has, that has been introduced. So not only that, they have introduced or it has been introduced the numeral system, not only the numeral system, but the digitalization with the Indian knowledge system. The digitalization, when we talk about, this is all related with integral part of the mathematics and mathematics is going to contribute a lot for the future, you know, the educational system. So, when we talk about the digitalization, the digital, digitalization in education, digitalization in the, you know, all the entire programs. And there was a concept about the STEM. As we all know that the STEM it lies with the science, technology, mathematics, and uh, you know engineer. But the concept has changed now. Now this in the 21st century we are moving towards the STEAM rather than the STEM. As I mentioned that that STEAM science, technology, mathematics, engineering. In addition to that, the arts. Not only the arts, but with the, you know, uh, with this, the mathematics, we will try to introduce or, you know, we try to learn from that. 
So what I want to say, these kind of the programs are useful for our the new generation or for the those who are already involved in the educational system. So this is the few things that I would like to share and I would like to thank to the Department of Mathematics initiating, you know, for this kind of the program. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Professor, for a wonderful speech. Now, I'd like to request our chief guest, Professor Prabhupada Bharat, our honorable precise vice chancellor, to deliver a speech. And without mentioning again, I'd like to welcome Professor Sabah Hussain, sir, after this speech, to give a lot of thanks. Well, <coughs> good morning to all of you. And the, and my friends, colleagues, experts from outside, Dean of the School of Ethical Sciences, uh, Professor J.P. Singh, head of the department, and his colleagues, uh, Professor Jamal Hussain, Professor Sundar and those who are the organizers behind this uh, very, uh, very rich, academically, very rich uh, this workshop on an emerging area of uh, mathematics. At the same time, I see many of my friends and colleagues from other departments who are joining this particular program and uh, uh, Department of Mathematics, now the Department of one certain time maybe Mathematics Computer Application, now the same Department of Mathematics and Computer Science. Uh, and the school as a whole uh, is a very academically very rich school of the Israel University. Initially, it was three departments, physics, chemistry, mathematics. Now, there is an addition of uh, industrial chemistry. So, over the period of time, for a long time, they have been doing a lot of uh, uh, qualitative, both academic and research activities, which I know from the very beginning. And uh, it is equally important that uh, Mathematics on different occasions, they have been doing in the workshop training program. This particular program, which I, I came to know very closely to be a, a part of the program, uh, very uh, institutions of national importance, premier institutions are associated with this program. Uh, there is nothing better than AFIR, Mumbai, IIT Mumbai, ISI. ISI is known for uh, mathematics, statistics and uh, computer science, and both India and abroad, they are also associated with this. I am happy that uh, from ISI, Kolkata Daily Center, one expert resource person or guest is here in this particular program. So, I am sure that the area they have identified is very, very uh, new and uh, even if it is very, uh, it's quite known in the mathematics, but many developments that have taken place, uh, mathematics in uh, uh, 60s, 70s, 80s and mathematics in 21st century, particularly the tools, software, tools, techniques. <coughs> when you go abroad, then you feel uh, that uh, where do we stand in India when uh, the developed countries have gone so, I mean, beyond the expectation. Everything is connected to technology, software tools and techniques. So much of advanced. Uh, I am sure uh, the Department of Mathematics, having three senior uh, teachers, three professors, they will think in these lines how they are using technology and making the students most compatible to the market. Again, coming back to the, the participants, Mizoram, Mizoram students, Mizoram faculty members, I know all over India many opportunities are available, seminars, uh, workshops, training programs, conferences, but 
in many occasions the students and teachers are very no uh, their their uh, uh, mobility is very less they love to be at home always and now the people from top organizations excellent organizations have come here to mizoram mizoram university and i am sure the teachers who are participating joining this particular workshop of six days uh, duration will get ample opportunities to learn many many new or emerging areas on the subject they are talking about uh, uh, ring uh, numbering uh, and uh, uh, other aspects of uh, mathematics i am sure you once you learn these uh, new techniques new theories you will apply in your classroom in revising your syllabus curriculum and syllabus syllabus and uh, most important is uh, most important is your own knowledge because a teacher is testimony of success a teacher is a testimony of success if teacher is outdated if teacher is outdated then what the students will learn well department of uh, mathematics computer science they are talking about new areas new emerging areas still the the, the traditional mathematics has its own importance last month there is a brand new uh, central university already established already established with uh, 12 centers is they call campus all over india and uh, the headquarters is delhi and they they asked me three four areas one particular area is they are going to create a new department start a new department department of ancient indian mathematics we know mathematics now you are adding mathematics and computer application they want to start create a new department ancient indian mathematics i searched from different places they wanted four five names to develop uh, curriculum and syllabus so finally i got uh, those who are specialized in indian uh, ancient indian mathematics so maybe it holds its own importance even today that is why uh, it's also a new thing for me that uh, where, where the, the world is moving where the international trends and developments are moving now still we, we still recognize the value and importance of indian uh, ancient uh, mathematics ancient indian mathematics so with this type of understanding and the program that uh, the department of mathematics is uh, conducting in the coming today and now in coming five days total six days i hope the college teachers they are the maximum gainers seekers and most beneficiary of this particular program and uh, they after learning all these theories techniques associated with this particular course or program they will disseminate to their students and in turn students they are going to also learn from their teacher and uh, make them a very very successful career with these words i i let me conclude my speech and wish this particular program a grand success thank you so much good morning all of you uh, we are at the end of uh, this inaugural session in the form of this uh, this uh, uh, proposal of vote of thanks uh, at the outset i thank our honorable vice chancellor professor uh, kadaga for sparing his time from his busy schedule and uh, enlightening us with uh, new information and ideas thank you so much sir uh, i take this opportunity to also mention that uh, this is one of the department uh, which conducted most of the programs for the benefit of students and uh, faculty members that our dean also mentioned and the uh, like series of uh, programs funded by isi kolkata then you know mts program for training and talent search Uh, then um, you know international uh, faculty development programs as uh, our team mentioned during even the pandemics we have three international faculty development programs which are so successful because online
then many people joined and got benefited I hope. And uh, then I, I must thank our uh, um, honorable um, uh, dean, uh, Professor Divakar Tiwali. You know, while uh, uh, organizing such events, you know, whenever we face some difficulty, I used to and uh, we used to rush to him, and then he got uh, provided all support and guidance uh, to make the event successful. Thank you so much, sir, for your support. And uh, then uh, our resource person today from ISI Kolkata, ISI Bangalore, I, I thank uh, them for uh, uh, conceptualizing this and then uh, coming forward to help out the faculty members and research scholars of this part of the region who actually need a lot of exposure uh, to the new developments in various areas of research. Um, as, as our Sylvia uh, also mentioned, you know, who better can, can uh, do this job, you know, than premier institutions of the country. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, uh, our head of the department, the co convener uh, coordinator, convener, uh, Dr. Sarat Singh, uh, for, I thank them for uh, taking uh, all the pains who have uh, organized this. And uh, last but not least, all the non-teaching staff, the resource pillars, you know, you know, they are behind actually uh, organizing, organizing uh, such events, make it uh, a successful one. And uh, uh, I, I hope all the external members, uh, Professor Lysham, Professor Suri, I hope you will enjoy the greenery and beauty of the state of Mizoram and uh, the clean environment, zero pollution, and uh, all participants also. Once again, I thank one and all. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you all for this inaugural program. I wish all of us the best for the coming week. I hope you, we all benefit. And now tea is ready, I think, so we will go out from here. Uh, so, we can go now. So tea is served, please everyone have a seat.